what's up guys uh, welcome you in java interview question and answer uh, in this video tutorial we are going to uh, talk about the one of the important uh, interview java question so let's proceed so definitely this question uh, you would have uh, encountered uh, in your past or you may face in the future interview the question is that why should i choose java for software development what are the pros and cons for uh, of java yeah so let's uh, talk about the some pros and cons uh, in java when we talk about the pros or advantages of java then uh, there are a few points i have listed over here first point java is free download it and uh, start creating your own application yeah so that's pretty much uh, uh, clear for you uh, when you want to learn java then a lot of uh, uh, all, the, all, all the software related to Java, all the IDE, lot of framework, right? That is uh, comes uh, uh, without uh, no cost, right? And you start uh, developing an application, right? Now, next point when we talk about the, uh, I mean, next advantage of Java, there are uh, plenty of uh, third-party libraries, frameworks, and IDE for faster development uh, is available right free of cost like you have a spring uh, hibernate spring boot these are the framework which is very popular these days we have a id like eclipse intellij uh, which helps you to develop uh, a very scalable uh, basically java application in within no time right now third uh, pros uh, we have a uh, java is a platform independent right once run on most modern platform like unix windows or mac os yeah e even if you write a java code on 32 bit of operating system uh, without any problem you can run on the uh, 64 bit operating system there is no problem in that uh, now let's move on the next point and fourth point uh, java supports uh, object oriented programming easy to model uh, real life uh, scenarios into object model that's the fourth feature now when we talk about the fifth feature in java or uh, fifth uh, pros uh, java has a inbuilt support for multi-threading and concurrency right it's easy to write a scalable application in java that can utilize multi-core processors clusters of machines distributed ramps etc there is a uh, inbuilt support for threads non-blocking algorithms using cache stream api parallel streams uh, completable feature parallel array operation atomic values etc right so some of the feature uh, out of uh, whatever feature i have listed out over here some of the features you may get in the java 8 yeah so let's move ahead so we have a six uh, feature of java uh, six reason to choose why we, i should uh, 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 develop our software in java sixth uh, reason is that uh, uh, java is very good support for inter internationalization uh, if you want to uh, create an application and you want the support for various languages in the world then java is the one of the good choice yeah now let's go to the seventh feature seventh feature says memory management is automatic by automatic by use of uh, garbage collector in java as you know we have a various uh, garbage collector which supports automatic many memory management right we have a g1 concurrent mark concurrent mark sweep parallel garbage co collector etc now eighth feature uh, we have a pure java bytecode running on 32 bit uh, jvm works perfectly fine on 64 bit platform so as we have talked earlier even though if you have created your java application on the operating system which is just 32 bits still uh, uh, that application uh, without any problem you can run on the uh, hardware which supports for 64 bit operating system yeah now uh, ninth feature we have a uh, uh, java has a support of functional interfaces and lambda expression introduced in java 8 right uh, uh, that uh, makes code written and easy specifically dealing with the collection is very fun in java 8 so just to make you understand this point let's go to the eclipse and here you can see i have written a code uh, here i have a person class and person class is having some instance variable i have a constructor there i'm just initializing this uh, instance variable and and we have a basically public gator method and finally i have overridden two string method now come to the client program here you can see i have created a list of uh, basically employees 
right i have added some uh, sorry list of person and there i have added few uh, person object by calling uh, its constructor here yeah? and finally uh, uh, from this list just i have created an array of person and this array i am passing to the stream api so as you know in java is uh, has introduced a stream api so a stream api has a off method there you can pass var arc right so here i have passed the uh, here i have passed uh, this array of person right this accepts var arc so now we have a stream of person now uh, basically now collection of a person i want to sort based on the basically uh, last name then first name then email id if uh, two person is having the same uh, last name so here basically i have sorted based on the uh, this comment has to be changed so here i have sorted based on the first name uh, then last name and uh, then email so two person is having the uh, same first name then that will get sorted on the second name even though person is having the uh, same first name and last name then that will get sorted based on the email address right so if you use java yet then it's very easy to write so here we got the stream uh, a stream of portion and uh, on a stream of portion you can call the sorted method and here a comparator has introduced a lot of many methods in java yet so here we are calling a uh, comparing method it's a static method so directly you can call it and here uh, using the method reference uh, you can call a uh, person dot get first name then comparing uh, uh, get last name and then comparing email so this will basically come uh, basically sort uh, based on the first name last name and then email address and finally just we are calling the for each method uh, which is introduced in the java 8 itself and just iterating list of uh, basically person and that will uh, be uh, displayed on the console so if i run this application so here you can see uh, a person is basically sorted based on the first uh, first name then last name and then email address and see the amount of code what we have written so in java of course using functional programming and lambda expression you can write a uh, very compact code sometimes that uh, very difficult to understand but uh, but that saves a lot of time right so now let's come back to the slide and here when we talk about the java cons or da java disadvantages then first disadvantage we would like to talk java is not a good fit for desktop applications uh, because of heavy memory footprint and huge uh, virtual machine startup time compared to any C, C++ uh, written application, right? So now second disadvantage of Java is normal Java is not good for a real time system because of stop the world garbage collector project. So uh, if you are having less amount of experience, then this phrase you might not have heard till it. What is the stop of world? So when we talk about the stop of world, then a stop of world means that the JVM is stopping the application from running to execute a GC or garbage collection. When a stop the world occurs, every thread except for the threads needed uh, for the GC will stop their tasks. The interrupted task will resume only after the GC task has completed. GC tuning uh, often means just reducing the stop of uh, stop the world. So I hope now. Uh, today onwards he will be capable to answer if somebody asks you uh, why i should uh, choose java to develop my application yeah can you tell me the some pros and cons of the java then you you would be on the position to answer that question yeah so that's all i have in this video tutorial guys uh, this uh, basically video was more and more theoretical rather uh, practical i hope you like this video uh, if you want to learn java in much more detail then you can refer our website kkjavatutorials.com and guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial.